Happy New Year, everybody. Look, I can't speak for you, but I'm glad we're moving out of 2022. I really am. But you can kind of notice things are a little different here tonight. And I'll explain that in just a moment. The reason I'm kind of glad we're getting out of 2022, I mean, let's face it, highest inflation rate in over 40 years. Fuel prices doubled from when Donald Trump was president. Interest rates climbing, a border that's easier to get through than a wet paper towel, and a lazy and irresponsible media that lies to you every day and then pretends they're telling you the truth. But you know one thing has been a wonderful part of 2022, and that's that my wife and I started the year with two wonderful new puppies. We did. We actually got them the week between Christmas and New Year's, and they've already made one appearance on the show when they were really, really tiny. I mean, really tiny. I'm holding Gumbo. He's a Cavalier King Charles Bichon mix. Janet is holding Bandit, who is a Shih Tzu Bichon mix. Now, they aren't blood brothers, but don't tell them that, because they think they are. They're virtually inseparable. They love to wrestle, chase each other, and sometimes they make big messes, almost as bad as Keith and Trey. But these boys, they've brought a lot of joy to our lives in a year that otherwise would have been at times rather depressing. I often say, I wouldn't live in a world without dogs, and I really mean it. During the past year, i tell you something, these two guys have taken a whole lot more of my time than I had. They caused me to do a whole lot of cleaning up behind them, replacing things that they chewed up, and trying to figure out what made them bark. But through it all, they've given a level of loyalty that I sure never experienced in politics, and a steadfast love that, well, is just a true taste of God's unfailing love for us. You may wonder why I'd open the New Year's show with my dogs. Well, the honest answer is, because I could. <laughs> but there is method to the madness. I'm convinced that dogs bring people together. It's hard to frown when looking into the eyes of a puppy. It's hard to think about harsh divisions in our nation and world when holding a puppy in your lap. So I just think a lot of our problems would be solved if people got a dog. Maybe even Democrats and Republicans, oh, they'd still disagree, but wouldn't be hateful about it. And dogs, well, they can teach us a lot about being patient, as well as being grateful for even the smallest thing, like a tiny little treat. Now, I don't mean to imply that all of 2022 has been unpleasant. Our daughter got elected governor of Arkansas, and she will soon be sitting in the old seat I sat in. She'll be sworn in in less than two weeks and start her own journey of leading our state. Now, we're proud of all three of our children, but they have their own lives and careers. So we do about as much babysitting of our seven grandchildren as we're allowed. But when they aren't there, I got to tell you, having the dogs, it fills the house with activity, love, and of course, noise. Lots and lots of noise. Some of our friends, they thought we were crazy to get two dogs at the same time. But quite frankly, it just doubled our delight to watch them grow play, and show us their unconditional love. So we're starting out 2023 with hope and anticipation and year-old puppies that got us through this past year. From Janet and me and Gumbo and Bandit, Happy New Year, and may God give you a great year and maybe, maybe a puppy of your own. Hey, Mike Huckabee here. Listen, if you love your mom, apple pie, and being conservative, you know you ought to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and click the like button and show all the leftists out there that conservatives are thriving and patriotism is far from dead. Am I pandering too much? No way. I'm just getting started.